I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of this stuff is hard to say because of my southern accent, but here we go. So for those of you that don't know what a rotary engine is, this thing utilizes spinning metal Doritos on an eccentric shaft. And these things utilize not a crankshaft, but an eccentric shaft. So this engine has been labeled the worst engine of all time, aside from the EJ engines and Subaru, because this thing runs through oil like a marine runs through liquor at a titty bar. And this thing does not seem to like keeping apex seals, which is those little gaps on top, your yeah, apex seals go there. Oh, believe me, this thing does have a cult following. For example, Rob Dumb, he has a billet four-rotor with the biggest hoochie mama hairdryer turbo you could possibly... This man has a hoochie mama hairdryer attached to a party bag of Doritos. Let's also not forget his all-wheel drive. It makes well over a thousand horsepower. I think he makes like 1,200, 1,300 right around there. He may make more now, probably close to 1,500 if I'm not mistaken. And then you have Tyson Garvin and his infamous 12 rotor. Let me break this down and so y'all can kind of understand why this why this was amazing when he first created it. I don't think y'all are quite grasping how amazing a 12 rotor is. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you good perspective, right? So a two rotor comes in the Mazda RX-7s and the RX-8s, right? And then you have three rotors, which come in the Mazda Cosmos and Unos, right? Great. The four rotors you can make. Six to eight hundred horsepower naturally aspirated, close to a thousand horsepower with a with a four rotor, with a four rotor, a well built four rotor. I'm talking about billet everything. That thing will handle from fourteen to two thousand horsepower, maybe even more. Bro, th this is a twelve rotor. This is a nine hundred sixty cubic inch rotary. For you English and British people, that is 15.7 liters. Bro, do you understand how crazy that is? Bro, this is this thing has 15.7 liters of displacement. This would, if Mazda had built this thing and put this out in the public, this would have been like a, this would have been a big block, basically. It's got the V8 architecture. So horsepower, it was said to make about 1,400 horsepower theoretically, uh, naturally aspirated, but when you add 100 plus millimeter turbos to this monstrosity, yeah, it's supposed to make 5,000 horsepower. Now, considering that the fact that it's probably billet everything from what it looks like and the apex seals don't crack, it could more than likely get close to that because it seems like the more rotors you add to these rotary engines, you, you double, even triple the horsepower. These things are absolutely titanic. It is like with the two rotors, you don't have any torque. There is no torque at all. But the more rotors you add, the more horsepower, the more torque you have. It just is crazy. I'm telling you, look at, look at it yourself. Rob Dumb's four-rotor screams like an F1 car.